Kovalev against Najib Mohammadi, and you'll see that just as in the last fight, the favorite is 32, and the uh, opponent is 30. To have a world championship belt, then you probably have to have some other job besides boxing. Like a lot of here. Kovalev contenders and challengers, they come in really resolute. His three losses, Bernard Hopkins, were by knockout. Both times he says he got hit in the temple with a right hand. Sergey Kovalev throws that punch, doesn't he? Yeah, punch very well. Uh, I'm a now victim of a first round knockout. We've seen a pattern in the first round against a lot of opponents. He's pretty tactical. Those eight fights and what Kovalev views as an unamicable split with his former trainer have emerged as a Max Kellerman, John David Jackson says he has a chip on his shoulder. He may be the ultimate chip on the shoulder ring and meaner than Ray Robinson outside the ring. It's a great quote. And it makes for a great knockout action John fight. Pascal, when he threw more jabs than power punches, he really is a skilled boxer. Oh, absolutely. He has the skills, he has the ability and the patience. And you know, it shocked me because he's a good mover. Not Title a defense for Kovalev. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Najib Mohammed. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Trunks are a little high here, so the upper half will be considered good. Okay. Gentlemen, we went over to this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. It's not whether or not Kovalev will win. It's in what round will he knock Mohammadi out? Something early to convince Kovalev that he has something to think about here. That was comic in the corner, wasn't it? I mean, I thought we had been over all of the problems that are caused by the multiple title belts in the sport. Tucky Box threw more jabs than power shots against Jean Pascal. Many more, as a matter of fact, in recent fights. Set up the power shots and also to keep opponents back. Create space. And off balance, Jim. Sergey throws that jab. He throws it to put it out there, but he also throws the second and third one in to get Sergey's squat has, has, has been in his knees a little bit, Max and Jim, to get that leverage. Before, he used to be a little straight up. He has a great relationship with John Davis. I mean, he's, he was quite adamant in saying to us yesterday, Abel Sanchez didn't teach me any trainer and that I was learning from him. That's not really the case at all. It is entirely different. You can see them huddling together in Jackson. A communication between Kovalev and John David Jackson. Kovalev hasn't really been able to get his punches on track upstairs to Mohammadi getting in and out, What's touching that, Kovalev from time to time. Before you said that, Max, Sergey hit Mohammadi and also a body shot, a straight right hand to the kidney, and uh, you know he got his attention, Mohammadi. Kovalev have the kind of power where you feel everything he throws. Just about, yes, just about. And, and the reason you don't feel the other ones because you're already in the camp. <laughs> It's just been business as usual. Gotten in a right hand or two. And we'll look to get more aggressive. 20 consecutive fights without a first round knockout for one of the premier knockouts of Evgeny Gratovic and Vasily Lomachenko. Good round. Keep paying this guy. Very important that we make him work. And don't worry about the body for right now. Copy box numbers in 22 out of 57. Very efficient, very good round. Mohamed out of 30. Kovalev landing 14 jabs and five body shots in that first round. That's his game plan. Oh, yeah, Max. I mean, because, you know, you anticipate it because you feel it, you know, the power of certain. You know that it, this man has power because he felt the body shots and, and he also felt the jab. And this is going to be ruled a slip, not a knockdown. Mohamed really stepped on his foot. Helping to create the slip that saw Kovalev fly through the fight because he's ready to get set up with a right hand, uh, uh, either uh, to the stop, body stop, or stop, to the head. That fastball, which is his right hand. Right there, go ahead, Max. Hamadi has to use that kind of awkward rhythm for to have any success, and you see him trying that here. Lands a right hand. Oh, and but now that's eats the problem. A right hand and another right hand, and Mohammadi's in 
struggle, and down he goes. And he got caught on the temple with the right hand. Wow. You okay? okay? Looks pretty good. Back back up. Up. And Kovalev's got a minute and 16 right. to work with. Stop, stop, His stop, legs stop. is really bad. Jim is trying to just survive. He should be holding. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I mean, Kovalev, you can come Don't in push. with the, the best game plan, and you could be a no. good fighter. He doesn't know where he is. Yeah, Kovalev's got that jack o lantern no, no, grin no, no, no. on his face, which is often the expression you see. And Kovalev oh, came in with a wrestling move oh, there, like a, a, like a W, bringing the knee know, down. Sergey don't need that. Don't Jim, he don't need that. He loves him. You don't want the fans to see him as a guy that's going to throw people down when he goes. Well, he oh. already had some negative adrenaline coming, yeah. saying he wanted revenge against Abel Sanchez. Now he probably doesn't like him that much. He's got a scrape on his nose, does Kovalev. So there's plenty of incentive for him. Oh, stop, stop. It looks like Sanchez able right stop. down in the ring. Stay in there. Yes. Okay, okay. I got you. All right? Okay. Okay. No rest. Take your time. Here's Sergey lining up the chat and making Mohammedi run right into the right hand. And there he goes, down. Now here's Soge telling him to get up because now he wants to let him know, get up, he wants to fight, he wants to prove a point. Jim, you talked about Kovalev's meanness when he fell on top of Mohamed. The presence in the ring of anyone in boxing. Green. And that helps to accentuate it. Enjoys inflicting punishment. Answer for the left, the right, the overhand right, the chopping right. Again, he has no answer for this. It threatens to become target this. practice. The only thing that's keeping it from being target up, practice him up, him is Muhammad. He has in front of him, and right now he just want to make a statement and then take him out. He's lining him up. Fascinating how Abel Sanchez talking to Mohammed between rounds, didn't even mention or acknowledge them. Just went to the latter part of the round immediately and talked about what Mohammed ought to do. Mohammed has a really great chance letting this fight go a little longer than what people expect because he's taking those subtle movements to the left, to the right. He cannot stand in front of Sergey and think he's gonna have a shootout with him. Sergey doesn't look desperate to end things. Uh -huh. Is doing, he may be able says to extend it, although maybe not now. Looks like it just broke Mohammedi's nose. And it looks Six, like Mohammedi may be done. Seven, Kenny Bayless is gonna say no more. Knockout, he had another KO victory for the left. Five in 29 fights. He's one of boxing's destroyers. So Bernard, I guess Kovalev perfectly targeted. Left eye, nose, he targeted. Looked like he's broken. I mean, he hit him with a straight, straight right hand. And he lined him up with that even earlier, but now he's seen the shot. He carried him for a round, and then he executed it. Mohammed, he's still acting as though either the eye or the nose is broken. Who knows? Maybe both. Now let's take a look at it now, Bernard. Half a step back, and here's the lead right hand, straight cheap bone, then a left hand down uh, to the left Broken side of the jaw. gym. But that was the right hand at first, and now you got a left right on top of that. So, yeah, a knockout. It. Well, we saw Sergey Kovalev knock out. Sergey Krasik Compu box final numbers, total punches. Kovalev lands 50 more, throws 74 more, lands at a significantly higher percentage, completely dominates the fight. Landing 35. And uh, save my bells. IBF defense today was because he was mandatory first, uh, ranked number first, and I, I'm happy. Um, you mentioned before the fight that you this is sort of a revenge fight for you, considering it was an Abel Sanchez 
fighter, when you knocked him down, you motioned for him to get up like you wanted to punish him. What are your thoughts about fighting Andre Ward in the next couple of fights? Max, I can repeat, I, I get, I'm ready for any fighter, any fights, any opponent. It's, it's boxing, it's sport. First of all, for me, it's sport. And if uh, fans uh, want to see this fight, like, and uh, promoters will make this fight, I'll be happy. So will we. Thanks, champ. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Max, uh, yeah. uh, let, let me congratulate.